Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. I really hope that you're all doing well out there and that you're having a lovely week so far. So today's video is all about Etsy banners and how to make them yourself. So making your own banner is not only a creative way to get involved with your business, but it's also the inexpensive option. So there are a few different styles to choose from. You can have the bigger banner or a smaller banner. The bigger banner is the one that I like and I use and Etsy recommends 1600 by 400 pixels with that. So I will be showing you guys how to make that one today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the very first thing, you're going to want to click create a design. Then you're going to want to click custom size. And like I mentioned before, Etsy recommends 1600 by 400. And make sure over here that it is pixels. Once you do that, this page right here will pop up. And as you can see on the side, they have quite a few options and templates available. I really like that they have these templates available because if you're a complete novice and you just have no idea about design or colors and fonts, this is really going to help you on your way. The templates are easy to customize and are quite simple. So for an example, if you like this one, you can then just um, add in your own name. You can also change the fonts here and there are a lot to choose from. Great options. You can change the font size and the color. So it really is very versatile. So you're able to change the font colors, which is great for your branding. And you're also able to change the pictures as well. So a couple of things that you might want to add to your banner could be your store name, your tagline, and what it is you sell. If you like this one, but you're wanting to maybe change the background image, what you do is you want to come over here, you click more, and then you click photos from Canva. And as you might be able to see, Canva has a lot of free photos to use, so you really can't go wrong. So let's say you have a flower business on Etsy, then this here might be a good picture to use and it's free as well, which is great. So you simply drag that over and then this will be the background. If you want to minimize this to make the picture stand out, that's possible as well. You might even want to move it over here and move the text. So it really is quite simple and easy to do and you're really able to change it up and make it your own. Now another thing that you might want to do is if you want to have a background banning the whole of the banner. So you would come over here to elements and then you would click on lines and shapes and I would just click on this one. Then you're able to drag and manipulate the shape like so. But the great thing is if you want it in the middle, Canva is going to indicate when you have reached the middle like so. And they have a lot of text options as well. So you can add a heading, which is a bigger one. You can add a subheading or add a little bit of body text. So you just really want to have a browse here and see which font is on brand for you. So just as an example, I will add a heading and just as an example, I will write florals by Felicity. And once again, I can make that bigger. I can move it around on the banner, put it in the middle and I can change the color. I think in this instance, we might make it white. This is another example of a different type of banner that you could use. Now, another option is you're able to change the transparency of this bit here. So you simply come up to transparency. So you're able to change it and make it as transparent as you like. So that's another great option as well. So they are just two examples of the different style of banners. You can also make one yourself. So if you are a particularly creative person, and you feel very confident in your abilities, you are able to start from scratch. So here is just a quick example of how you're able to make your banner yourself from scratch. So, and I think it's important to point out that sometimes you can't use the images unless you buy them, but a simple workaround from that, say, say you've clicked on a banner and the image of it is one that you need to pay for. So a simple workaround from that is you would go into Canva's photos and you would search for a similar free image to use. If you're going to start from scratch and you feel that you have the creative skill set for this, are able to start with a blank page. For this example, I imagine a rainbow kind of banner. So this rainbow here is the pro version, but again, you would be able to find free ones. So they do have quite a few free options. 
and quite a few paid options as well. I do have the paid version, so for this example, I will use this one. I think it's very cute and sweet. So I will just drag it over here and the colors go well with my color scheme in my mind. So next, what I would want to do is click over here to add text. So for example, Gemma Rose Design, which is my Etsy. Once again, you can come over here and change the fonts. They have a lot of different fonts to choose from ranging from your standard font to the swirly and the very bold and kind of out there type as well. So just have a lay around with that and have some fun there. I think I will use this font. That's very cute. And once again, I'm gonna change the size. So you're able to change the size either by coming up here and clicking or typing in here or you're able to click on the font itself and just drag it like so. So that's quite cute there. And you're also able to change the background as well. So this background is white, but maybe you might want to change the background as well to be say light pink. So that I feel goes very well together. And then after that, I might want to add a subheading and just explain what it is we sell. So just for an example, I've put custom baby onesies for your little ones. So that is a great way to have more creative control of your banner and to have a bigger input in the design. So for example, I was able to change the background color and I was able to add my own font and pictures. And just quickly as another example, we would go into template. So this here is a great example of how you're able to add different product images. How you're able to change the background image, you simply click on any picture and you are either able to use the photos that Etsy have here. So for an example, if you have a baby store, you would search baby and then you would find one that's free if you have the free version. So this one here is free. You would just drag that over. That's very cute. And then you would keep going with the other images. Canva has a lot of different images to use and they pretty much have every picture of products that you're able to sell under the sun. So another way you're able to do it is you can actually add your own photos. And how you do that is you go to uploads and then click on upload image and there you're able to choose from device, Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram or Dropbox. So you are able to add your product photos as well. You are able to do as much or as little customization as possible. So for example, you could use this banner here and just change the text and then that would be a great way to make your banner without having to do too much. So the options here really are quite endless and there really is a style for everyone. So that's how you're able to make your own banner through Canva. I really hope that you found this video informative. Please let me know in the comments if you did and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Really hope that you were able to get some valuable information from this video and that you're able to see that you can create and customize your banner for Etsy. I really hope that me doing these little examples here gave you some great insight and information and I will see you in my next one. Bye.